at the time, there were no advertisers. Publishers weren't. Yeah, that was a challenge. I mean, <laughs> so there's no one advertising yet, right? Publishers weren't yet thinking of that. There were no, like, they didn't have, like, space on their website for an ad. So, like, how did you, you know, how did you get that going? So we knew nothing about publishers and advertisers. We hired a guy named Dave Guaz who had been selling for ZDNet. So he was our uh, ad sales guy. He knew publishers. So he started started working with agencies that he knew and signed up some schlocky, some pretty schlocky websites. I can't remember what they what they were. Um, and then right around that same time, we ran into our our company name was Internet Advertising Network. Real techie name. It was actually mm -hmm. Internet Advertising Federation. <laughs> How's that for okay. Star Trek? Um, <laughs> And we ran into this, and no one else was doing it. Our concept was take, take this technology, create a network of websites. Uh, and then I was reading Adweek one day, and there was this guy named Dave Carlick talking about the exact same thing. Hmm. I mean, it was, he was going to create this network of websites with the dynamic targeting, targeted ads. And I was like, and we hadn't announced yet. And I'm like, ah, oh, we're going to get crushed. Hmm. So I go, I'll, I'll give this guy a call. I call him up. He's Dave. He's like, thank God you reached out to me. He goes, I. This is just a concept. Uh, we don't have any technology. He was just talking. He was just talking. Just talking smack. I mean, this guy was, yeah. you know, uh, he was he was an agency guy. But what they had they had a media sales company, the first media sales company called DoubleClick. Okay. And they were selling ads for Netscape and Excite. I see. In fact, one of the things that most people don't realize, we were Netscape's profits. I see. Uh, and Netscape was always kind of embarrassed of advertising. You know, right? Mm. They had the Netscape.com. But did you merge with his, or you? So we merged. We did. Okay. Huge mega merger of four people. Uh, <laughs> okay. The big toss up was, you know, do we keep it in an advertising network or double click? Okay. Double click rolls off the tongue okay. a little better. And then you move to New York. So the big question then is where do we, Atlanta wasn't a, an option. Yeah. You go to Silicon Valley or go to New York. And what we decided is that Dwight and I are both engineers. We knew technologies. So we didn't think that was going to be the problem. Uh, the problem was we really need to know publishing and, and advertisers. And New York is just overwhelmingly yeah. the leader in that. So we picked New York. Okay. So you moved to New York. You had sort of these anchor publishers like Netscape and, uh, and uh, Excite. Who, who would were, not use our technology. They would not use your technology, but they would use your, but they were using we your. Were selling, we were selling, we were their media reps. I see. So you were going out and selling their ads for them, but they wouldn't use your technology. They wanted to use their own technology. Because yes. they, they saw themselves as being better at the technology or something. Well, no, they didn't, really, didn't even have technology. They just didn't want, you know, it was back in, I'm not sure people. People didn't want accountability. Mm. Right? One of our toughest problems we were selling Netscape is we, we didn't deliver any reports. It was all just kind of based on trust. Mm. It was very frustrating. Um, so, so you wanted to provide like this very transparent system where you see the, so you, you do provide it. You finally make advertising, um, you know, uh, metrics driven, and they didn't want that. No. The publishers, Netscape didn't because they didn't, they just didn't see it as good the business purposes behind it. Well, no one in Netscape really cared. There was, okay. I think, one person of all Netscape. Uh, well, they were riding this whole boom, and probably had they IPO'd then, or they had. Okay. And we were their profit, um, doing I think ten or twenty million bucks a year. Mm. Um, they were also selling server side. Were they selling server side software that was going to be their business model? Yes. And so the contract came up for renew, and this is this is my sort of one of those smack your head against the wall it was the most asinine conversation. It was their VP. I can't remember the guy's name. Uh, he was. He's going to fire us as, as, as their rep firm, which is cool with me because if they weren't using our technology, it wasn't strategic. We didn't want to be a rep firm. We wanted to be a yeah. network. And he goes, I don't think you guys can go in. What we want to do is bundle advertising with our server sales. Mm -hmm. And we don't think you can go in and talk to CIOs and sell advertising with servers. I okay. said, I, you're right. No one in the world can go talk to a CIO and sell advertiser. Yeah, yeah. advertising, and you're a total moron for ever thinking that. Um, and so they decided to go down that strategy, and, okay. and Netscape kind of... The CIOs don't want to buy advertising, so that was just a bad... Strategy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, if you ever met a CIO yeah, who bought yeah, advertising, yeah, yeah. Okay. it was so nonsensical. So, okay, so so you, so you clearly you, you started this, you were sort of the, one of the first uh, internet advertising companies. The internet, of course, went, grew, you know, phenomenally during that period. You... Um, Rode along with that. Advertising became um, one of the dominant, probably the dominant business model, um, or display advertising, I guess I should say. And then, um, you know, so clearly you rode that wave, um, but you also had tons of competitors come out. I mean, you uh, you ended up being the clear leader in display advertising. How did? Can you talk about that dynamic, like competitors and how you fought them off? And 
And at some point you brought, is it true, you brought Kevin Ryan on? or Yeah, Kevin Ryan was very early on. Okay, and he became the CEO? Uh, yeah, he came in as CFO, okay. uh, and he just kept doing more and more of the... And why, and like you, were you originally a CEO and you, you just didn't want to be CEO? You wanted to do more tech stuff or? I mean, I was a, I was a CEO, kind of the classic CEO of a tech company. I was the tech guy yeah. uh, and, and we were a tech company. So I was leading strategy and all the product but you But you brought him in, not like the VCs or something like that? Or? Oh, we didn't have any VCs at that time. Okay, okay. Um, so I brought him in because there was a whole bunch of stuff I, I just hated doing. I mean, you're probably similar, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, don't like to deal with finance. I don't like to deal with operational stuff, yeah. you know, I just like to deal with product. Okay. Uh, so Kevin came in and loved doing that stuff. I see. He was really good at it. And cool. Okay, good. So promoted him to president. 